Hey guys, let me tell you, um, what's up? So anyways, uh, Ziju has created an audio stutter issue fix for the stock 2.3 ROM. So today I'm going to show you how to flex that, flash that. The, the link will be in the description. And you just flash it with uh, recovery on the stock 2.3 ROM. And he also made... And I'm very happy about this. This means all those games that I showed you are going to be running twice as fast now. He fully uncapped the frames per second on for all ROMs. Like, he did it on the stock 2.3. And that's just amazing. So I'm going to show y'all how to flash that today. It's not that hard. It's just you go to X Recovery. Alright, let's get started. And he also made a ROM for anybody interested. Uh, it's like vanilla. It's not Sony Ericsson, it's vanilla. You can see that from, uh, I think y'all can see that. Yeah, you can see that from there. So, yeah, it has everything working. 3x10. And there it is. You don't have to use Flash Tool for anything anymore. It's just that free extends it. That means he ported the sources correctly. Alright. Now I'm going to show y'all the phone now. So. You can see I already have it here. Let's do the frames for a second test real quick. See, I'm getting 34. And I have both the audio starter fix and the cap ready to go. Let's go to Xperia Reboot Options and Reboot into Recover. And the d difference in performance is probably going to be amazing. I haven't tested this yet. This is my first time. I'm just showing y'all. I wanted to see the difference personally. I was like, huh, I should record this. Waiting for this to go. There we go. So I always keep my stuff in the downloads folder. So okay, here it is. Um, I seem to have forgotten which. Okay, here's the audio setter. Fix flashed it, and let me go right back to download. Hold on, I want to make sure I'm flashing the right thing first. I forgot what the, uh, if it was uncap or FPS uncap. Full FPS. You have an uncap FPS and an FPS uncap. I'm not sure which one to flash. <laughs> I'm going to try the FPS uncap though since it's right below the um, audio started fix. I should probably delete that stuff before I really get messed up. So I'm going to let that reboot. And on Ziju's ROM, somebody claimed to have gotten 2352 on um, Quadrant. And this is his first release. This is amazing. And uh, his ROM, it has a, a DSP manager. I think I'm going to show y'all how to. Uh, I think I'm going to flash that ROM. So. Alright. Well, the phone's ready. So, I'm gonna sh let's see this. <laughs> it's already smoother. The lock screen is just amazing.
So let's refresh, refresh, refresh. When it starts up, it kind of jumps around a lot. So 45, 48. I'm going to restart it one more time. Well, I'm actually getting some 30s and stuff. That's not right. Probably need some time to get in. Okay, let me reboot it. Oh, no wonder. It says CPU is inactivated. So one more time. There we go. There's my 52 frames per second. 53. And it should be 54. So anyways, that's the gaming. That's going to be lightning fast. Well, you see that glitch in the back. <laughs> um, so what I'm looking at now is scrolling. Seems much faster. Much more responsive. Oh, yeah. You can see it like on contact. Now the real test of how to test this is go to Quadrant and look at the planet test. So I'm just going to run that. So we got 16. That's still the same. We got 19. Still the same. 14, 25. Yeah, all that pretty much stays the same. You won't see uh, much difference in those. The planet test, I see 47. Well, I saw 47 the most. And this is still 13, 14, and 15. And the score is 1282 on first run. So that's flashing, residuals, FPS uncap, and uh, audio starter fix. I can't really show you the audio starter fix, but yeah, you get the point. Alright, thanks for watching.